where'd you get this POS? You know what? Shut up. You were telling me what went wrong back there? We did everything that was planned. Yeah, until they killed him. Why would they do that? There's no way the mob knew he was behind this whole operation. Unless they informed him. Impossible. Not one person would have said anything to jeopardize this mission. Well, I can think of one. Seven. Not again. You really are an idiot, Mars. Why would he want to destroy what his father and forefathers created? I'm just saying, sometimes, I don't know about the guy. He's weird and gloomy looking. Martin was Seven's client, Mars. He'd be worth more money to us alive than dead. Think about it. True. <clears throat> I don't get it. We get paid to kill, not protect. If anything, that was the reason why this all went to crap. For once, I agree with you. Hmm. I wonder what he's going to say to Seven. Well, if you knew Seven as well as I did, you'd know he already knows. Hmm. Brock's meeting with him later. Oh. I wish him good luck with that. So, heard about your little fiasco of a mission. How did my bald-headed client wind up with a bullet right between his eyes? Well, I mean, it was all rigged up. Those big-nosed Italians thought we were holding him ransom. I apologize. Actually, I just forget it. Because I'm quite certain this sort of thing won't ever happen again. Am I right? Wrong? You're right. This was just a slip-up. And a costly one. No matter. Got most of that meatball's pay anyway. Do you know why I recruited you? Simply because you were the best. And you didn't disappoint. You were a top-ranked Marine. I've always wondered. What made you want to consider my offer? Well, my being a Marine hasn't really got me much after I left. So I figured this was the best way to make a lot of money. Hmm. And now you have a nice little family. So in a way, I brought you back to your feet. Yes. Yes, you did. And I can cut them out from under you and bring you back to the dirt from whence you came, if this ever happens again. Comprende? Yes, sir. Fantastic. Ah. I've got your next assignment. My God. All right, but after this, I'm out. Oh, out. Uh, I'm saddened to hear that. But you have earned your right to retire after all, I suppose. Deal. Great. However, this means the consequences of you completing or failing this mission has just been escalated. What do you mean? What if everything goes according to plan? Well, if everything goes just dandy, then the debt that you owe will be paid, and you can go off and live your happy little life. And if I fail? Let's just say it's do or die. Break a leg.
How'd it go? I told him this was going to be my last assignment. All right, Brock. Way to stick it to the man. I wouldn't blame you for the making that decision. This is big. Yeah, and I strongly suggest this be the last run for you guys, too. Now, either we pull this off, or I'm gonna lose everything. It's my bet that you guys will, too. I just put my entire family, everyone that I love, at jeopardy. I don't even know if I can do this anymore. I don't know if I can kill another innocent human being. Don't worry, Brock. We'll find a way. We always have. You know I'll always have your back, man. This ain't nothing. We'll find a way to get around this. Thanks, man. Of course. Okay, all right. First things first. We need to learn a little bit about our target and what his daily habits might be. Don't sweat it. Mars and I will tail him and take care of it. You go clean yourself up and get some rest. Seriously, man, don't worry about it. We got this. Take it easy. So, what do we have on our boy? He's got his whole daily routine right here. Where he goes, what he eats, the whole shebang. Really? This is good stuff. So does anybody have any idea how we're gonna plan this thing? Sure do. There's this theater that he goes to. A lot. And get this, <clears throat> they play both motion pictures and plays. Well, that's what'll happen then. Yeah. Maybe we can come up with some, some fake invitations. You know, make him think he's going to a private performance. Easily. So that's what we'll do. We need to make sure this thing goes very smoothly. Right. Gotcha. The bad news is that we have to do this today. It says in there that the senator's got two weeks booked for a vacation with his wife in the Bahamas. Well, we don't have much time then. So let's get to work. Alexis. Brock. Now listen to me. Things have changed. Okay? I don't want you guys to go anywhere near the theater tonight. Is Mars there with you? Do you hear me? Don't go anywhere near the theater. Hello? Am I early? Not at all. You're right on time. Where is everybody? Why, Senator, this performance is exclusively for you. Please, sit. I would like to personally welcome you Senator Stepp, to the Hillside Theater, in our little production of End of the Journey.
Senator, get down! Come on, come on, come on! Where's the Senator, Brock? Someplace safe. Do you know why I personally want him dead? He's about to become a threat to my business if they pass his bill. And now it seems, so are you. I thought I told you to stay away from the theater. Lucky for you, I'm hard-headed. Never listen to me.